Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Monero, Instructional Technology Specialist at Rochester Community Schools. In this series on Google for Education Instructional and Engagement Highlights, I'm excited to share with you how you can use Google applications in innovative and collaborative ways. We're going to get started with exploring collaboration in Google Docs. Google recently released some new features to enhance collaboration by making them more interactive and intelligent. One of the new features is Smart Clips, which allows you to add information for other Google Workspace apps while working in a document. So how might a teacher use this feature in teaching and learning? You can quickly embed files from your drive into one document. This can be helpful in supporting students to stay organized. Students can then preview the linked documents, all without changing tabs. The same can be done for department meeting notes. You can embed files you will preview or reference notes from a previous meeting. This helps to ensure everyone has access to all of the file materials for the meeting. How might a student use this feature? Well, Docs is a great tool to use for group projects. Students can quickly embed their group files from Drive or tag other students in the group right into the document by using the at sign. Once team members are tagged, the students can then hover over the name to quickly email and contact members. It's important to note that the document is not automatically shared with people if their name is added to it. Students will still need to make sure they share the document with all group members. A second feature is interactive checklists. This tool is similar to bulleted lists, except you can check them off once they are completed. Students can use this feature to stay on task. As students are working on group projects, they can assign tasks to peers to check off once completed. Teachers can add the interactive checklist to their assignments and students can mark each section as they complete it. The next thing I want to share with you isn't new per se, but might be a new way you look at collaboration with Docs. The comment feature creates an opportunity for students to share their thinking and to connect, comment, and question other people's thinking as well. For this example, let's say I'm a virtual teacher. My students only see each other once a week, but I want to build in more opportunities for them to learn together. I found a great article I would like my students to read and annotate together. I could paste the text of the article into a Google Doc, add a comment question or two to get the discussion started, and then share the document with my students. As the teacher, I'll be able to see who posted and what comments students left. Some of their questions and wonders could be used as the start of our next class meeting or lead to inquiry projects for the kids. If you feel like your class size is too large to have all kids comment on one document, consider having the students in groups to read and comment. You will want to remind students not to resolve or delete any of the comments. Have an idea of how educators can use Google Docs for collaboration? Share it in the discussion post below. Be sure to check out our next module in the series, Google Slides, more than a presentation tool.